We go through a lot of garlic in my house. Like, a lot. I know not everyone goes through garlic like they're trying to stave off an entire gaggle of vampires. And I can respect that. Kind of. Because if you aren't into garlic, you may not actually get how versatile this little bulb is. And even if you are a garlic fan, you might not know why garlic does what it does in the kitchen. Here's the thing. No matter which side of the great garlic debate you're on, understanding how garlic's chemistry works can make it work better for you. This is Minute Food. Garlic's polarizing flavor comes mostly from a compound called allicin, which weirdly isn't normally in garlic. When garlic is just peacefully existing, the components of allicin, an amino acid called allin and an enzyme called allinase, are separated in different cells. But when something, like a hungry herbivore's teeth or a hungry human's knife, damages the clove, the components meet, and boom. Allinase transforms odorless allin into odiferous allicin. In nature, that sulfury explosion protects the damaged tissue from hungry critters. It's literally a chemical weapon. So it's no wonder garlic can pack such a punch in the kitchen. A face punch may or may not be what you're going for. But with a little know-how, you can manipulate garlic's chemistry to produce all sorts of different flavors. First, let's say you are going for weapons-grade garlic. The more cell walls you break, by mincing garlic, using a mortar and pestle, or if you're really brave, microplaning it, the more allin and allinase will come into contact with each other, and the more allicin you'll create. But allicin is a really unstable molecule, and nearly as soon as it's created, it starts breaking down. So if you're looking for maximum garlic power, use what you've prepped right away. And use it raw, because heating allicin speeds up its breakdown. But allicin doesn't just disappear. It transforms into a bunch of other sulfur-based compounds that are less potent, but way more varied. They're fruity, meaty, creamy, nutty, and more. So if you're looking for garlic flavor that's less punch in the face and more complex, first detonate the bomb to create allicin, then cook that allicin to break it down. For the mellowest garlic experience, diffuse the bomb. By heating whole cloves up to 140 Fahrenheit, 60 degrees Celsius, you can unravel the allinase molecules before they come into contact with allin, preventing allicin from ever getting made. And without any sulfury compounds in the way, what you'll taste is sweetness. Garlic has tons of natural sugars. Its sugar content is right up there with sweet potatoes. And if you get garlic's sugars hot enough, they'll caramelize, sweetening things up even more. But don't go too far. Since garlic has all that sugar and very little water, it burns fast and turns super bitter, which is one garlic flavor you probably aren't going for. Then there's garlic powder, which I had always kind of written off until I dug into the science. See, when garlic powder makers make garlic powder, they first slice the cloves, producing some allicin. Then they dry the slices, which does two things. It gives that allicin time to break down into different flavorful compounds and it dehydrates the allinase that's left in the slices, which temporarily inactivates it. When the dry slices are ground up and bottled, allin mingles with the allinase. But since it's inactivated, nothing happens. Once you're ready to use garlic powder, though, adding water will reactivate the allinase. And since the allin is right there, boom, the chemical weapon detonates. It's a slightly less powerful weapon, since dehydrating allinase weakens it a bit. But nonetheless, garlic powder provides pretty good garlic flavors, all in a convenient little package. You just have to know how to use it. Once you understand all these chemical reactions, you can fine tune them, tweak them, and layer them to get exactly the flavors you want out of garlic. And out of foods like onions, leeks, and shallots, which are relatives of garlic and share similar chemistry. So go forth, experiment, and fall in love with garlic, either for the first time or all over again. The kitchen is one of the few places in our lives where science is so in your face and so enjoyable. If you're looking for another way to really clearly observe and enjoy science, check out Mel Science. Their subscription boxes for kids take a complex concept, like photosynthesis, and transform it into something you can experience. In this kit, you can actually see chlorophyll molecules getting excited and releasing the energy in the form of red light. So cool. 
Plus, along with your monthly hands-on kit, you'll also get access to live classes with real teachers and an augmented reality app to dive deeper into the scientific concepts you're learning about. If this sounds great to you, check out melscience.com and use code MINUTE50 to get 50% off your first box. That's melscience.com, promo code MINUTE50. Thanks, Mel.